This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is an ASEC Euro Profile Cylinder. This lock has a Yale style keyway, six pins, and as you can see from this key, some pretty good looking bidding. We're going to see what it takes to get into this lock, and then of course I will take it apart and show you what's inside. First thing I'm going to do is put this wiper insert in the bottom of the keyway. That's just to keep us from damaging that. And then I'm going to use top of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths pry bar. And I'm going to be using this southward hook. Okay, let's see what we've got. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four's loose, five is loose, six is... Okay, six, it, uh, I got a nice click out of him, but I had to lift the pin quite a bit to get it. I'm wondering if that's an anti-bump pin cylinder. Okay, got a little bit of feedback on one, got a click there, a little bit more, a nice solid click, he might be set. Click out of two, nothing else on him, nothing on three. Okay, click out of four, got something out of five, nice click out of six, a tiny bit of movement on the core, nothing on one, little click out of two, nothing on three, couple clicks out of four, click out of five, and then six opened her up. Okay, let's take this lock apart and see what's inside. Okay, first thing we need to do is remove the clip from the back of this lock. And go and now a key and a follower should get this apart okay we can see our six pins looks like number one is a steel anti-drill pin let's dump all of these out okay there's one two three four five and six it looks like we dropped out a couple pieces of drill protection from the front of the core. Let me put them over in slot seven. Okay, let's get the driver pins out now. We definitely had some security pins in here. Let's see, number one is serrated. Looks a bit like a GG pin. Two looks like a steel anti-drill pin. Three is a short pin with one serration. Five is serrated. Six, or, I'm sorry, four is serrated, five is serrated. And then six is probably an anti-bump pin. Okay, let me give you a close-up of all of this. As you can see, all of our key pins are standard with number one being steel. Then we have four serrated pins in slots one, three, four, and five. As you can see, they're all different lengths, probably for balancing the pin stacks out. Then we have a standard anti-drill pin in slot two for the driver. And then we have an anti-bump pin in slot six. And again, I showed you this on my last lock, but what happens with these anti-bump pins is they actually sit on the top of the counter milling such that they don't fall entirely inside of the chamber. And that should throw the timing off with bumping. Okay, as you can see, it looks like five of the six chambers are counter milled. We have a couple slots for our drill protection right up front, and those that's the drill protection right there, the pins in slot seven. We have the deep anti-snap cuts, 
and looks like that's it with this core. Okay, this has been the ASEC Euro Profile Cylinder. If you have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.